Hi children, let us find the solution for the assignment. Sudhir has rupees 400, he spends one fourth of the money on squid, one fourth of the money on squid and another three fourths on prawns, another three fourths he is spending on prawns. So first we need to understand how much is one fourth of the money he has. So in the first part we need to understand one fourth of the money he is spending on squid and 1 kg of squid cost, how many kg of squid did he buy if 1 kg of squid, so in the part 1 kg squid is costing rupees 50 so now how much money he is spending he is spending 1 fourth of 400 so we have already discussed if this is 400 whole is 400 part is half of it is 200 if half of it is 200 half of half that is 100 so quarter of 400 is 100 quarter of 400 is 100 so you can also make it in this way 1 by 4 into 400 that is 1 into 400 400 by 4 400 is divided by 4 you will get 100 rupees so he is spending 100 rupees on he is spending 100 rupees on buying squid so this is rupees 100 so if 1 kg is 50 rupees for 100 rupees how many kg will we get that is what we need to solve very simple 1 kg is rupees 50 100 is nothing but 52 so you get 2 kg squid 2 kg squid per rupees 100 that is the first part now coming to the second part how many kgs of prawns did he buy if 1 kg of prawns cost 1 kg prawns are costing rupees 150 if 1 kg is costing rupees 150 he is spending 3 fourths so how much money he is spending 3 fourths of 400 3 fourths of 400 we understood that in 400 1 by 4 becomes 100 1 by 4 is 100 this is 100 this is 100 then 3 by 4 is nothing but 3 by 4 is nothing but 300 or you can do it like this 3 into 400 by 4 so 4 will go in 4 one time so 400 100 times 100 into 3 is 300 so 3 by 4 of 3 by 4 of 400 is rupees 300 so for rupees 300 how much how many kgs of squid will he get sorry how many kgs of prawn will he get that this is rupees 300 so Again, what is the relation between 150 and 300? It is nothing but twice. 152 is 300. So, here you will get 2 kg prawns. That is the solution for this particular problem. Hi children. So, in this video, we will try to understand about women's mean curve band. So here, the meeting of the Meenakar Bank has just begun. Fazila is the president. 20 fisherwomen have made their own bank. See, here the fishermen and fisherwomen, they are making their own bank by keeping deposits with them. So here, 20 Fazila is elected as a president and 20 fisherwomen have made their own bank. They are making their own bank. And in this, each saves rupees 25. Everyone is contributing, is saving rupees 25 every month. Each saves rupees 25 every month and puts in the bank. So they are collecting all the money and keeping it one place. That is what is called as a bank. When the money is collected and kept it one place, that is only called as a bank. So 25 rupees are being collected from each of them and it is being saved. So now the question is, how much money does the group collect in each month? Now, each one is contributing rupees 25. Each person, each woman is giving rupees 25. How many are there in the group? This group is consisting of 20. So if one woman is giving 25 rupees and there are 20 women in this group, 
So how much money will be collected in one month? Because twenty rupees they are giving per twenty five rupees they are giving every month. So for one month they are giving only twenty five rupees. He is asking in one month only. So each woman is giving twenty five. Then the second woman is giving twenty five. Twenty five plus twenty five. Third woman is giving twenty five. Twenty five plus twenty five plus twenty five. So if twenty women are giving twenty five. Then what we need to do? We are adding twenty-five plus twenty-five plus twenty-five, and what is this? This is nothing but repeated addition. And what is the shortcut for repeated addition? Shortcut for repeated addition is multiplication. So we will simply multiply this twenty-five by twenty. So when twenty-five is multiplied by twenty, so you know this zero is there. First five twos are n. Two twos are four plus one five, and here one zero is there. So simply we can do it like this. So five hundred rupees is being collected for one month. How much money does the group collect? The group collects rupees five hundred. So two hundred. So this is five hundred. You can write. Therefore, the group collects five hundred. Therefore, the group collects. Rupees five hundred for one month. It is for one month. Now, how much money will be collected in ten years? They are asking it for ten years. If it is for one month, for ten years, how much do they collect? So now, if it is for one month, we know it is five hundred. Then for ten years, if they are asking, first we need to one month. It is. One month, we know that they are collecting rupees five hundred. They are asking for ten years. So one thing we need to know here is how many months are present in this ten years. We need to understand. We need to understand that how many months, how many months make ten years. We know one year is having how many months. One year is having twelve months. When one year is having twelve months, ten years has. One year is having twelve months. Then ten years is ten years are having twelve into ten months. Twelve into ten months is what is twelve into ten? Twelve into ten is one twenty. So ten years are having one hundred and twenty months. So now we understood that ten years has one twenty months. If one Month they are collecting. If one month they are collecting rupees five hundred. One month how much they are collecting? Five hundred. For one hundred and twenty months, how much will they collect? Again, it is multiplication. So one hundred and twenty into five hundred. When you are doing one hundred and twenty into five hundred, one hundred and twenty into five hundred. Multiplication with ten hundreds, thousands. It is very easy because. We need to simply multiply this number and place the zeros. Here there are three zeros. You can keep these three zeros aside, and you simply multiply twelve by five. Twelve fives are sixty. We all know. So here three zeros are there. One, two, three. You can place all the three zeros. So it is sixty thousand. So for ten years, that is one hundred and twenty months. Sir, for ten years they are collecting rupees sixty thousand. That is the solution for this. Children, now it's the time for assignment. If twenty-five women form a group and are saving rupees twenty-five every month and puts it in the bank, how much money does the group collect in five years? So read the problem one more time. Find out what is given and what is asked, and do this. Thank you and have a nice day.